Every movie has key points in it. There's a backstory, then a challenge, a make or break, a turning point, which often poses a central dilemma, where we watch the central hero find the courage to face up to what they didn't see, that they now see clearly, or what they had misunderstood. It's usually a crisis moment, and we hang on in with the hero while they make the choice that will change their life all the while rooting for them, exactly like a therapist does with the real movie, which is our life. If you would like to share your movie with me, send me a message and we'll take it from there. Meanwhile, here's Vicky sharing hers. Hi, is that Vicky? Hi, oh, yes. Hi, Jenny, Vicky. Hi. Good to meet you. You too. So we're going to talk today about the movie of Vicky's life. Okay. And we're going to talk about the central crisis, the central theme that, that Vicky is going to be working through and growing from so that she can reach the end of the movie um, and there'll be a really satisfying ending. Okay, yeah. Okay, so how about we start with you reading out to me the question that you sent me? Okay, yeah, sure. So what I said was, I'm I'm really scared. I have two small children, but I don't know if I can stay with my husband because I'm just feeling really disappointed and let down by him and I'm really struggling to know what to do. Okay, so, so this movie is about a woman called Vicky. She's married with two small children and when we meet her in the movie, she is not sure whether she can stay with her partner mm. and she's conflicted and torn and she feels really disappointed and let down by him mm. Mm. yeah let's learn a little bit more about vicky okay so let's watch vicky in that first scene where we meet her what would be a scene that would really show us this dilemma that vicky currently has what might we see Come sit beside me in the cinema yeah. and show me on the screen. Uh, well, I suppose a really good illustration of that would be, you know, happened last week, um, you know, on, at the weekend where, you know, I've been at home with the, you know, my kids are, uh, are three and, um, and nearly five. And I'm a stay at home mum at the moment until they go to school. And, mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's been a long week and uh, he works long hours and so that involves, you know, me doing all the childcare and the housework. So as we watch the scene, what will we be seeing? What will Vicky be, be doing? What will we be picking up as we watch Vicky? What will Vicky be conveying to us? What will we see? Uh, just a really busy mum and, um, you know, housewife. Mm old-fashioned term but yeah you know um busy just picking everything up sorting everything out um and doing that pretty much sort of alone for a vast majority of the mm -hmm. week um and then you know looking forward to the weekend and sort of hoping for you know some time with and some support and, and having a bit of time to myself um but uh but peter my husband he he's um massively into um sport and uh plays um competitive squash and 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 then when the weekend comes um just being really disappointed because uh he's not told me mm. that he's got these you know he's got all these matches mm. and um it's pretty much going to take up most of one of the days and part of part of the other day and uh just just sort of realizing that you know, there just isn't going to be any time for me. Or... So we're watching Vicky on the screen. We've watched her rushing around, tidying, picking stuff up, feeding mm. kids, making meals, doing shopping, loads and loads of chores. And we've seen that. That's what she's doing through the week. Mm. And then there's a cut to the weekend. Mm. And we see that Vicky is hoping for some time to herself and a different quality how do we how do we as we watch it know that how do we know that that's what vicky 
is hoping for as we watch the film. Hmm. I don't know that we would know just from watching. We wouldn't know? No. Oh, right. What would we see? If uh, we wouldn't know that, what would what would we see in Vicky? Just getting on with it, really, you know, um, maybe getting a bit quieter, going in on myself, um, certainly not feeling as happy by the time we got to the weekend and I'd realised how it was going to be. Right, so the scene. Mm. Vicky's had a busy week. She's hoping that the weekend might be different. And we see her just getting a bit quieter. Mm. What does Peter see? Peter's coming home. He's got these sport fixtures. Mm. Does Peter know that Vicky's hoping for a different kind of weekend? Well, he should do. In that he's my husband. Are there know. signs to tell him? No, I suppose. No, I suppose you know. If I look at it from the outside in, I can see that. Yeah, I haven't said anything, or I haven't asked for, um, I've just sort of quietly expected it, but no, I haven't said anything, I haven't asked for it. Right, so let's anything. freeze frame. Let's freeze frame. Let's freeze frame on Vicky's face. Mm. So Peter has announced that he's got all these sports fixtures, and we're just going to freeze the film, we're going to freeze frame on Vicky's face. Mm. What will we see on Vicky's face? Just disappointment. Mm. Disappointment, but um, I mean, I wouldn't show it, but I, I would be angry underneath. Mm. She, she'd be angry. So we'd see a look that maybe might be a bit puzzling. We might not quite know what it is. Mm. Okay, so we freeze framed that. Let's hold that. Mm. And that stays up in the corner of the movie screen. Mm. And now the movie cuts to the backstory mm -hmm. because the movie is going to show us how Vicky learned to feel angry and disappointed inside, but not show it and not say. What's the movie going to show us? What of where I learned to yeah. feel let down and disappointed. Yeah, the movie is going to fill the viewer mm. in. To help the viewer understand and be on Vicky's side mm -hmm. and really get it. What are we going to see? Um, well, I suppose, you know, that was how things were a lot for me as a, as a, as a you know, as a kid growing up. And, you know, everybody was busy, got their own stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Mum and Dad were very caught up in their own lives. Both were quite dominant and... Mm -hmm. Um, you know what they said went, um, and the what well, you know you, you didn't you just didn't make a fuss. You, you, I just, she just learned not mm. to make a fuss. What would have happened if she did make a fuss? Oh, um, just that, let, that that you know the message would have been very clear that um, I was asking for too much. I'd let them down. I was bothering them. So you would get disappointment. You would get mm. irritation. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'd feel bad. Yeah, then I yeah, then I would feel bad that um I'd feel bad that, you know, I'd made a fuss and upset them and um you know, and then they'd get a bit, you know, particularly, you know, dad could mm. get really cold and distant. Um Right, so it could feel also to to this young Vicky that it could make people stop loving you. Stop showing you affection. Yeah, stop no, liking you. I haven't really Go thought cold. about it in quite those terms, but yeah, I suppose that is what it, it felt like. Um, mm. Certainly that they didn't like me, mm. um, and certainly that you know they they just cold shoulder me. Um, well, it's a really frightening lesson, isn't it? It's a really frightening lesson to learn that if we show how we feel, or we feel somehow that we're hurt or disappointed or angry and we let people see that mm. that we will be a nuisance that they will be irritated by us mm. and they might go cold on us and withdraw and leave us alone mm. it's a really powerful a 
powerful lesson that teaches us to not dare those things. Mm. Is there a particular scene that you might <clears throat> include in the movie to show the person watching do you mean an example from... of what that was like back then? Do you mean as a child? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, mean, I can remember being in London um, in Hyde Park mm. and um, you know, I, could, I was quite little and mm. um, we were just near the, the lake and the ducks and they bought me an ice cream and then um, I was running and the ice cream uh, you know, it fell. Oh my goodness. And so I'd lost it and I'd been mm, really excited mm. to get it. And I started to uh, cry and, um, and you know, and get really upset. And um, my dad really turned on me and uh, said it had been my fault, um, you know, if I'd been walking more carefully, mm. I wouldn't have lost the ice cream. Mm. And, um, and, you know, th and there was no, I did ask for another ice cream, but, they, but nobody, nobody went and got me another one. It, mm. just, it was just very much that I'd made a fuss. It mm. was my fault. Uh, and, and instead of somebody trying to make that better, I was actually really told mm. off for it and, and really told off for crying. And I'm, I'm looking around at the cinema audience and the, the people's faces watching that scene and every single one of them is feeling so hurt for the little girl mm. who was excited and happy um, at the ice cream and the ducks and the, the park and all that was going on that day mm. and felt so crushed and, and frightened into the consequences of what could happen if she got upset or asked for something. And I can see every single person's face mm. feeling for that little girl. Mm. That feels quite strange to me. In what way? Well, I don't know, strange that other people would feel kindly towards that little girl. It, it, it you know, sort of <coughs> feels hard to imagine that, you know, anybody would feel like mm. that. I certainly didn't really experience people like that. And I guess that... That's about Vicky's experience with her mum and dad who were in her life daily mm. and what she learned from them that people think about her needs mm. or times when she's upset or times when she needs something. And I guess if the camera now pans back to the current scene mm where Peter is talking about what he's going to do that weekend. Mm. And we have both scenes on the screen. Mm. What do you see that's the same? Well, both parents and Peter just not really seeing mm. what's going on for, for me. It feels that your parents and Peter in that moment on the screen mm. are the same yeah. are they are they the same well it wasn't always like that with peter you know i mean it, it wasn't always like that in the beginning you know mm. um i mean he's always been ambitious and uh you know and driven but um i did matter I did feel like I mattered. And yes. In fact, that was you know that was part of what got made me get together with him. It mm. was, you know, it was it felt like I'd found something completely different to those experiences that I had when I was little. And sometimes, you know, without realizing it, we do this thing that that I often called cut and paste, where without our realizing it, we slide accidentally into an old version of us. Mm without really questioning or realising that that's what we're doing. Mm. And the people in our life now come to feel exactly like the people in our life back then. Mm. And they may not be those same people. They may have similarities that, that trigger old memories. Mm. But I wonder if we fade the past 
seen mm. off now, off the screen, and we come back to that scene in the kitchen where Peter is announcing to you all the sports fixtures that he's got coming up this weekend. Mm. And we look at the face that we freeze framed, which I think is probably the same face that we saw on the little girl when mm. she asked for the ice cream. Yeah. What can the woman that we're looking at now do differently? What is her challenge? What's her opportunity? I don't know, to speak up, maybe. Could she? Would, right. would Peter hear it differently? And sometimes... I mean, sometimes he gets angry, mm. you know. And sometimes, he, you know, I, I'm, I feel like he really puts me down. Could, could this Vicky, this grown-up Vicky... <clears throat> Excuse me, could she tell him that? Could she tell him what he does and ask him to do it differently? It feels quite scary. Sure. You know, and it is scary to do something that in our whole life we've never done before. Mm. But every person in this cinema is rooting for Vicky. Mm. Everyone is rooting for Vicky. It sounds like you're saying that, like, it, I don't know, that's just not normal to be that way, you know, it's other people find it easy to say and... Ah, no, not, not saying that at all. I think that we learn in childhood things to expect in later life. Mm -hmm. and, and we never know to question them, we never even know how to do them differently. Mm. until we reach a moment of crisis, which you have reached because you wrote to me. Yeah. So if we make this your moment of crisis... Yeah, because I, I don't know that I can carry on like this, living like this, so, yeah, I guess I've got to find a way of saying something. Would finding a way of saying something potentially be the turning point for you in your movie yeah could it be the change i guess i can give it a try because i suppose what i haven't been doing is i haven't really been saying anything if i haven't really uh, i've stayed quiet can you can you see a scene where you might say something can you create that scene can you show us? Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd have to, I'd have to speak to him, you know, but make some time when we're not, uh, we haven't got the kids and, um, you know, tell him how, how I'm feeling and, um, and what would that look like? When would that time be? When would a good time be? Um, I guess it'd have to be a weekend or an evening when I could get somebody to, you know, probably probably need to, you know, have somebody looking after the children. So I feel like that, you know. So you'd set that up as an opportunity mm. when there was just you and Peter. Mm. Can you show us the scene? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we'd maybe go out somewhere, to, you know, to a, a restaurant or a, a pub and you know just try and get onto neutral ground mm. and, and have a conversation that says so, uh, you know I'm feeling really unhappy and I need and I need something to change and I need I need to know that you know that the weekend there's time for me and that that's built in on a regular basis and and as uh, we see Vicky say that what mm. do we see happen in Peter? Yeah, I think Peter. I don't think Peter will like it. How will he show that? Just in his expression. Um, 
you know, and you'll try to tell me uh, I've got loads of time in the week, um, but haven't. It's just no. that he's not at home with the kids. He didn't realise what that's like. So what will Vicky say when she sees that look on Peter's face or she hears him not like it and say that he, she's got loads of time in the week? What will she say to make him understand? You say that they were close once. You mm. say Peter hasn't always been like this. Mm. What will she say to make him understand? Remembering he's Peter and not her mum or dad. Like maybe just remind him of how things used to be and mm -hmm. that, you know, talk about how do we get back to those people. Um, it sort of feels like everything's got you know, imbalanced with the, you know, as the family grew and mm. um, we sort of fallen into these roles um, that we used to be these people and, uh, and and we liked each other then and you know we enjoyed spending time we look forward to spending time with each other and how do we get back to that and as you say that what do you see in Peter's face now yeah I, mean, I think he could hear that you know because if I think about it I, sp I think he's not actually that happy it sounds a really powerful thing to say Mm. And it and it sounds like that could be a really powerful scene. That that could bring about the beginnings of something different. Mm. Okay. Can can you do that? Yeah, yeah, I can go. Yeah, I, I can make some time. Because I don't, I don't think you know I, things can't stay as they are. Um, because I think we're just drifting further and further apart and um, you know if we don't do something now it's it's, it's only going to get worse and you know and, and I, I did I do love him and I did you know I did like him um, I think life's just thrown lots at us mm. and mm. Um, we've just not been very good at dealing with it what we've not done is make any space to really talk about it and if I think about it, that's both of us because he mm. he avoids things by going out to sports fixtures, so he doesn't have to think about. So both of you may be avoiding mm. the issues that are really underneath. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How is this movie going to end? Well, I don't know, but I, I I can see that you know there's a path that's worth that's that's worth trying, which is not giving up and um, not doing it a bit differently, trying to, you know, to talk to him and um, appeal to, to appeal to the things that I know that he'll hear. And that is a good ending to a movie, isn't it? That's a, that's a satisfying ending. We don't have to have a, everything was wonderful or everybody lived happily every after. We just want to see Mm. need to see something shift that leaves us with hope mm. yeah no I, I i can do that yeah and it's really helped to sort of see that i'm doing i'm, I'm sort of doing exactly what i've always done you know what, what i learned to do with with, with mum and dad mm. vicky it's been great to talk with you today mm. and I, I really wish you well If you would like to share your movie with me, send me a message and we'll take it from there. You can message me on Instagram at Jally Judley or you can email me at a space to heal UK at gmail.com. In the meantime, thanks for listening and stay blessed.